som plastivač, plas po pocu pod lepe, lep solari in blaj na prode. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another bladder-filled episode of Positive Vibes. <laughs> I'm your host, Not Slim One, and I'm hanging out here today with my co-host, The Iceman. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. How yeah. are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. We're here. We're shooting a show. It's yeah. Sunday night. It's almost 9.30. It's pretty We're mellow a little night behind. tonight, too, eh? Yeah, well, you know what? It's been fucking pissing rain all weekend. Yeah, I think it's pretty good at helping dictate the mood. And that's about as far as that goes, I suppose. I guess so. So I went and I fucking saw the guy about the golf cart on uh, Saturday, and he uh, he was pretty firm, man. He, he wanted five hundred dollars for the golf cart, and I went out there and I told him all the stuff that I already said, you know. Yeah. I was like, you can't buy it, own it, and then try to flip it for what you paid for it when you've used it. And then he's like, well, I did some work to it. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, what work did you do to it? He literally goes to me, well, I put a coat of paint on it, and I put those stickers on it. <laughs> well, you know, he had to measure it to get them nice and straight, so that might have taken an They didn't look that minutes. straight. No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't do a very good job. And then also, uh, I looked online to try to find the uh, club car... Uh, information like the serial number or whatever so i could determine what model it was and I, I just couldn't find the fucking number really i couldn't find the number oh wow so whatever yeah, i'm better off not buying the golf cart because if i would have bought it i would have just put it in the driveway and it would have sat there for you know a, a couple of months while i saved up the money to buy the batteries and then that's it i would have fucking just had a, a lump sitting there and yeah. i could put my money to way Along better use. The go kart bro doesn't count as a lump because that I, I've absorbed that for so long. It's still a lump. It's just sitting there. Listen. I mean, no, I I, I get what you mean, but I need a welder. It's in the way. We can put it in the shed. Yeah, we should. Well, you should. We could put the go kart into the you shed. Move the. Uh, yeah. All we gotta do is hook the, the truck onto the camper, <laughs> pull it forward two feet. I think eh? it's okay where it's at. <laughs> push it. The go kart. Push the go kart to the back. <laughs> anyway, tonight uh, I got this fucking Fago Chillum. I bought it online. It looks like a Fago bottle, hey, eh? like these Old things. Old fashioned glass one. And uh, it's got a little hatchet man onto it, and he's smoking some uh, pot. So that's it. Inside, I loaded it with some shit that I got, and uh, underneath, uh, I put a layer of weed, and I put a little layer of THC crystals, and then I put. Uh, another layer of weed on top of it so that the crystals wouldn't fall out because you have to hold it like this. Like this. You're blasting tonight, buddy. Huh? Yeah, blasting off the fucking space camp. That's right. <laughs> you ready? Um, I guess so. Are you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That thing kind of looks the like it's, it's a little bit I annoying. I fucking hate to chill. I was just going to say, I, I, it looks a little annoying to, to smoke, maybe. I mean, I, I like the, the It's idea. a snob device, because you always have to look up yeah. like you're fucking, <laughs> there you la di da right? right. <laughs> See, pot smoke is better than, than the rest. It's good, though. It's a good little fucking handy thing, some yeah. once in a while. It holds quite a bit, too, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I bet you could pack, like, fuck, a little less than a gram into it. Maybe maybe about a gram. It's a pretty Probably, big bowl. Yeah. It's pretty deep. Well, nobody likes dead air on, uh... On anything. Yeah, nobody likes dead air, and there was a lot of dead air right there, so I guess we should move on to our new segment in the show, Ice Advice. Ice Advice. Take it away, Ice Man. Well, I think I'm going to take a question today from Ross Quessenberry. Uh, he asks me, what, what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about getting married... Or going to have kids for that matter. Now, he's asking me this, and I am just recently in, in the throes of a separation trying to go for a divorce. It's not going to be a bad divorce. It'll be amicable, which doesn't happen often. But back on the subject, what would I say about thinking about getting married? If you're going to do it, be all in. Otherwise, don't bother. Because it is a fucking headache, let me tell you. Uh, too much compromise, that's what I say. Um, and then he asks uh, about having kids. Now, I've got kids, and I'm not going to say anything bad about that because 
I would never look bad upon having my kids. Uh, that was an experience that I think everybody should maybe look at if they're into it. I know some people don't want kids. I don't want to have kids and I don't want to get married because yep. I've That's... just seen so many people classically fail around me. And, and just recently too, in the last two years I'd say, how many people, like how many couples have we seen split up? So many people that are close to me have yep. fucking separated people yep. that and I especially, never Especially actually with. even in, even in just the last few months. Yep. And we live in a, I think, I think a lot of it today, I mean, people have been getting divorced since marriage was invented, yeah. right? But I think maybe, maybe like, uh, a lot of divorces kind of around what's going on in my area of pe friends that are getting divorced. Seems like we live in a world of instant gratification and a marriage is not a thing no, of instant gratification. It, it takes work. And, if, and if one side isn't willing to do the work. Then it ain't gonna work. Yeah, it's easy to fucking slack when the other yeah. one is slacking, right? Yeah. yeah that's Why right. am I trying if you're not trying? Exactly. And then you know what happens? An eye for an eye makes the world go blind, and then everybody else, and then everybody's pissed off, that's right? That's right. And then, and then it's all well. You did this. Well, you did this. And then it boils down to somebody left the fucking fridge door open. And you're getting a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I think, I think you know, I've never been married. I don't want to get married, really but I think it it's got to be. Too. If you're going to marry somebody, I think you have already established trust with that person. So that one's just a given. I think what a lot of it is, is like really open, honest, unfiltered, unadulterated communication. Yeah. Is they should be the person. I don't want to get all like uh, philosophic or whatever, because I'm never going to get fucking married. <laughs> like, I don't think I'm going to well, do you, that. You were gonna be I've my told example. my parents many times that uh, don't not expect to expect it. grandkids. I don't plan on carrying on this bloodline whatsoever. And I, I, I knew that a long time ago. Yeah, but uh, it's communication, man. It's communication. It, is. it really is. In my marriage... Because if I, you don't have communication, then you start to fucking lose trust. In, in my marriage, it was the communication that I was trying to communicate all the time, but she only communicated with her friends and wouldn't tell me her problems. So we're, we're, how are we going to work on anything, right? So eventually, it just dissolved. But like I said, you have to be all in, and some people just aren't. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like let's look at this guy here. Never going to get married, and I'd say he's a pretty happy guy. He's I'm living right. bachelor life. He's fucking having a good time. I'm 33. I'm still kind of young. Maybe something will happen, and, uh, you know, I'm you know, not some, Miss Cleo, you know. I can't predict the future, but... Right. Some, some people may say something about, you know, one day you're going to... But, no, I, I think sometimes people can be happy just as a bachelor the rest of their lives. Well, look how long George Clooney went, you know what I mean? Yeah, really. Well... Yeah, I guess. I'm Clooney, baby. <laughs> well, I would not. Hey, know. I'm See, Clooney, we, baby. We can't do that comparison. <laughs> nope. Is that it? But uh, yeah, I guess that's it, really. So what's your bottom line for ice advice? My bottom line for ice advice is don't get married. Just live together. And what's the other thing? Uh, well, have, if you want to have kids, I mean, if you have kids, that's great. It is it is a great experience having kids. Can you live your life with another... Can you fall in love with a woman, Iceman, and live your life monogamously with that woman forever, but not go through the legal institution of merging two corporations and the bond of legal marriage and I have children out of wedlock? I think it may as well be anymore because divorce is so easy to get anyways. Because all that fucking marriage shit is is just merging of corporations yeah. and then it's money to fucking separate and That's like right. it's all the fucking and you're paying you got to pay to get married you got to pay to get divorced right That's right exactly so yeah. it's, and now let me tell you it's not cheap to get divorced not cheap i'm if you're doing it my route where we're not gonna fight it at all it's uh not too bad that way because it's not an hourly rate but yeah if, if somebody starts fighting it it gets expensive quick and it's not worth it it's not worth the fucking money paid that's my bottom line there. It ain't worth the money paid. Good luck to you, Ross. Yes, good luck to you, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good, man. What else is fucking going on? Not a whole lot, really. Yeah, Still nothing, man. We put house. in the air conditioner this week. Oh, yeah, shit, that's yeah. right. We I got don't think it's up. in the shop, but of course, it doesn't matter. We got it hooked up in an hour later and it fucking cooled down. Yeah, yeah, it was hot. <laughs> I'm like, it's hot. Degrees. Let's put in the AC. We started putting the AC in. It fucking started raining, yep. and then it didn't stop fucking raining for like two days. Yep. And, it cooled, <laughs> and it cooled like the temperature just completely dropped. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? At least it's in now. At least we yeah, got it fucking yeah. set up. 
And the setup is and dope, really, dude. Yeah, it's it real is. secure it's, it's too. You did dope. a fucking sick job. Thanks, man. No problem, man. Fucking love that. Next one to tackle is the vents on the camper, which we were gonna do. This yeah, weekend, I wanted to do it today, rain. but the rain, man. Fucking no, thank you. Yeah. yeah, the streets were flooded. The streets of the park it was flooded. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I was sleeping, but. I guess the park flooded again. The yeah. water was up to my uh, up above ankles. Yeah, halfway half, up half shins. Shin, yeah. half shin water <laughs> in the trailer that's how, park. That's how we measure our floods: half shin. Yeah, half shin, full shin. <laughs> <laughs> full shin. <laughs> oh my god, man, yeah. that's fucking hilarious. So I don't know what else is fucking trying to happen. I don't know. Mm. We did our first Periscope of oh, uh, right. Why Would You Do That on Friday night. Yeah. We shot on Friday night. Or no, we shot no, yesterday we shot on Saturday. Yesterday, yeah. We shot Saturday night. We did a 48-minute Periscope, and it was ne- it was this Friday's challenge, um, which is, what you know. Mean? Oh, we did the Mars Bars. Yeah, we did yeah. the Mars Bars challenge this weekend. We took some inspiration we, we, from uh, Ken Domic and Reckless Eating, so that's going to be fucking yeah. awesome. But we did a 48-minute periscope and i just clipped my phone into a gps cradle and fucking periscoped it and uh we got like some, uh, before the we got some hearts and some people and were commenting yeah. on it and that was really that fun was awesome yeah and uh so that's it so if you uh want to watch the show you can follow i don't know how it works do you have to follow me on twitter and then you can follow me on Periscope. I think you have to oh, no, it, I because think you Periscope can do just accesses Periscope. your Twitter friends list. It does, but I mean, just like anything, you can still your, add different yeah. users. So I think you can just have Periscope. Well, follow me on, on Twitter. both Twitter and Periscope. I don't fucking use Twitter that much, but uh, I'll tweet out when I go live on Periscope every time that I do. Yeah. I didn't know how to do it the first time. You have to tap the tweet button and then hit start let, broadcasting. Let know, yeah. So we'll start tweeting out when we do live Periscope. We're going to do that for pretty much every Why Would You Do That Now. So if you want to see the challenge like a week in advance, you can do that. Because we shot it yesterday on Saturday. Yeah, so anybody who and it's not coming out for another, it. you know, from Saturday, it's not coming out for another six days. That's right. But if you fucking download Periscope, you could have watched that shit. Where the fuck were you? I updated my Facebook status about it, man. That's right. So if you should so fa- find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash not slim one. I'm not slim one everywhere important right now to me. Even in Facebook? The only place that I'm not able to be not slim one, so I don't use their services, is Instagram. Really? And yet somebody took, somebody took not slim one on Instagram and uh, they posted one picture in like way back in the day and then I ended up signing up like a, a different account and I commented on the picture hey you know basically I don't remember verbatim but it was to the effect of relinquish the account to me because it you're, it's obviously inactive yeah. to you but I never got any information back about it. never logged into it after that picture. Right? Right? <laughs> so it sucks man and then really uh, does. eBay I can't I'm not able to be the username not slim one so I don't use eBay a lot. Yeah. Because just, of that. You just go through somebody else. <laughs> now I try to snap up things when I know that they're legit so that I can grab it real quick. Yeah. Like, uh, I was on Reddit for six months before I decided to get that name. Holy crap. You bounce all over the place from fucking username to username, or? I do quite a bit, yeah. You do, eh? You're fucking anonymous. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Don't you know me. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Go like this when you say that. You don't, you know, don't know me. me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <coughs> Excuse me. That thing's still going, eh? I thought you pooched her. No, I guess not. The chillum has a tiny little hole in it, so it allows for a slower burn. So yeah, actually, I did want to talk about uh, getting into my house. I finally got possession. I've been living there for three weeks, and we just got possession on there on Friday. Uh, and it was funny because we were at the lawyer's, and uh, the lawyer says, okay, just come back on Friday, because I signed the papers on Wednesday. He says, come back, pick up the house keys and the documents. I said, well, I'll come in and I'll get the documents, but I already have all the house keys. And he looked at me kind of funny, and I'm like, well... I've been living there for three weeks. He said, I don't want to know that. You did not tell me that. 
<laughs> Too bad I did. Now you know. But yeah, I guess they kind of frowned upon that. I don't know. The old lady was nice enough to let me move in. She had her place all set up, and I had her moved in. Why not, right? Yeah. Got the hell away from my hellish roommates. You're happy to be moved on? Oh my god. We are very happy. We got a nice house and we got We're almost freaking... settled in. Yeah. I saw your hoarder's room. I think it's fucking sweet. I <laughs> yeah, like... you haven't seen or we didn't get that one online. No, I haven't been in there too yeah. much with the camera yet. Well, I'm hoping to get that one cleaned up soon. Do you think that our friendship is one sided because you come over here all the time and I don't frequently go to your place? No, I don't. You like coming over here. I like coming over you here. I've got my kid over there. I've got my sixteen year old kid over there. And... You enjoy privacy at your house. I do, yeah. I am a very, other than this, and it's kind of funny to say this, I'm a very private person. No, man, a lot of people on, hey, listen, let me interrupt you for a moment. A lot of people, a lot of videos that I watch where they do Q&As on YouTube and shit, a lot of the people are like, no, I'm just really reserved. I'm like, I do this for the camera, but, but then I'm pretty yeah. reserved in my... Because, I mean, how much of my personal well, I mean, like, life do I talk about with you? think about that yeah no not too much no not i always have to fuck it and it's not that it's not that creep. i don't i creep he ice, does man. he fucking creeps me and it's not that i don't trust you it's just i don't share feelings i don't share personal shit with anybody share something personal right now with everybody i don't know what to share you got like you look like a deer in the headlights right there holy fuck dude that shit was fucking crazy he's fucking crazy i'm an introvert there's no way oh my god dude that like pierced me oh uh, no you know really i'm in my element sitting in my fucking living room and it's dark with my fucking internet on and i'm just having a good time you know me and my daughter in the house that's the way i like it She's chilling in the back. You're yeah. doing your front thing. Or, you know, sometimes she'll come up. We'll watch TV together. Depends what shows we're watching. Like right now, she's Netflixing uh, Prison Break. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I already I already saw that. So she's in her room watching all that now. Did you ever watch Oz? Oh, my God. I watched that when it was out. It's got a lot of dicks in it. It does. You should watch it, it with your kid, though. <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome I fucking watch show, man. Kid. But it is. That was an awesome show. That. It was amazing. The acting, the fucking writing, everything. That was a good show. Yeah, it was. Schellinger, not Schellinger. <laughs> 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 Alright, listen. I could fucking talk about old school fucking TV, fucking HBO all night, but I'm not gonna because we talked about a lot today. Yeah, we had a lot Ice Advice is a great fucking segment. I can't yeah, wait to find out questions. what we're gonna talk about next week. Not just the same people. Let's get some more questions out. There's some some real ones. I mean, we had. Uh, <laughs> Do oh, I just oh, want to read. Welcome the word. back to another segment of Ice <laughs> Advice. I'm not giving advice on this. Go one. ahead and give, I, do should, it. Should I say your the camera's name too? right there. Should I say his name for this one? Yeah, we'll put it right in the thing. I'm not giving advice for it. Just no. Well, you can't. No, we're in the segment, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Andy Sherman. Andy Sherman says Ice Advice. I have this really. I have this really itchy balls situation. What would you suggest? Also, Mr. Clean is going to sue you for... Okay, let's pass that. <laughs> <laughs> Advice. I like to fuck my girl, but when I fuck her, I like to jerk off to pictures of Blake. Yes, what? I what? Dicks. I didn't read that. Yes, what I have two fuck? dicks. What should I do? <laughs> Andy Sherman, first of all, it's your balls in private. Because <laughs> I don't want to fucking know. And Does he second, have four balls? <laughs> I guess he must have four balls if he's got two dicks. He has he's... two balls and then two dicks. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I mean, how do you give advice to a question like that? Well, you just fucking, it's your segment. You Hurry just up. fucking laugh at the guy because you got some problems, buddy. Go see a doctor. <laughs> that's my advice. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, with that, man, thanks for watching this episode of Positive oh, that Vibes. Was horrible. Uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and watch next Wednesday at 10 p.m. when we release another episode with me, your host, Not fine. Slim One, and my fucking dedicated co host, The Iceman. And uh, hopefully, we'll get some guests on. I know we said it last week, but here we are shooting Sunday night again. It is a little hard on Sunday nights, but uh, actually, you know, you know what? I'm going to put her on blast right now. Katie. Oh my she god. Said she's uh -oh. she's all up for it next week. Yeah. Holy. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching you guys. Peace. Peace.